So let's go to the other end of the spectrum for a moment and turn back to Vern. I mean, we're, we're also going to hear at this ASCO about the long-term follow-up of the Optim study. This was the TVEC versus uh, GMCSF. And unlike Jason, I, I, I can't quite pronounce the mouthful of its official name, so I'll always call it TVEC. Good. But uh, this was a trial that did lead to the registration of TVEC based yeah. on six-month PFS. So what do we know about the follow-up? I mean, what's, what's there been? So TVEC, of course, is intralesional therapy, means you have to have a conveniently located, preferably cutaneous or subcutaneous nodule to inject into. And we can use this therapy in two ways, whether we're using it alone or in combination. This study used it alone, TVEC alone, and the goal was to make the injected lesions go away and to hope that sometimes there were uninjected lesions, even metastases, that would also go away because you stimulated an immune response in, re in reaction to this injection. The OPTIM study showed it was better to inject lesions with this TVEC than a, what is essentially a placebo, the systemic administration of GMCSF, not intralesional. And the long-term data support that, that this is, an, is a treatment that is effective against the lesions that were injected. The longer-term results are, are disappointing in the sense that they don't show a lot of, eff, of efficacy at really changing distant metastases. So this isn't a treatment that for most patients we'd want to use to inject a lesion in the hand to make a lung tumor go away. Um, on the other hand, we might want to inject a lesion in the hand to stimulate an immune response and give systemic therapy and have a better chance of making that lung metastasis go away because the patient's immune system is revved up. That's TBD, preview of hopefully coming And that's the Master Key 265 right. trial, and hopefully that's going to read out by right. ASCO next year. But there's another, let me just to finish, there's another way you could think about it. If all you have are a bunch of lesions on the skin and you inject them all and they all go away, that patient is still at extraordinarily high risk of having a recurrence elsewhere. And we use adjuvant therapy for people with much lower risk. Giving combination therapy then is like giving adjuvant therapy after surgery. So we want to think about both categories of use of combination therapy as these new studies read out. Single agent use of TVEC is something that has value predominantly in localized, non-disseminated disease, and particularly in patients who have medical comorbidities or social constraints that limit the use of, of systemic drugs. It's it's a small percentage of our patients, but I think it's, it's an important one.